let me say a little bit more about sorting things out. I told the story of how I wanted to offer my boys a great Saturday bird hunting with me and how they turned down the offer and what that stirred in me, the disappointment, the loneliness, frankly, some anger and a little resentment. You know, you can't let those things just go unshepherded. You can't have a real life with Jesus Christ unless it is lived in the moment. This is how we walk with God. This is how we cultivate and develop both a self-awareness and an awareness of God. John Calvin years ago said that true wisdom results out of two things, a real knowledge of ourself and a real knowledge of God. And where that takes place is in the moment. It's as life is being lived out. So what I want to encourage you here is not to let your internal life just roll on unnoticed or unconsidered or or without inviting Christ in to help us navigate and sort these things out. Now in the story, as I said, if I had just sort of buried that disappointment and that resentment, I think it would have festered. I think it would have built up a kind of distance between me and my sons. And that's the danger of letting your internal life just roll on without any self-awareness and without any attempt to sort these things out. And so what I want to cultivate in myself and what I'm encouraging you to cultivate is an awareness of what you're thinking and what you're feeling as events take place during the day, and that posture that's just sort of continually inviting Christ in. Jesus, what's this about? Why am I feeling this so strongly? Or Jesus, where did you go? I I feel lost right now. Jesus, come into this. Now, when it comes to sorting things out, I don't want to suggest or imply that it all takes place in a moment. Sometimes it takes a while. And what I reflected in the story was that I went back into my office and I had to journal about it a little bit. I had to write down, here's what happened, here's what I'm feeling, here's what I'm thinking, and then invite Christ into that. It it takes some time, okay? This isn't, you know, sort of a quick answer and everything's taken care of. Sometimes it can take a week or two. It requires perhaps the help of a friend to sort certain things out in our life, certain reactions that we have to things, or just interpreting events we don't understand. But my point is, stay with it. Stay with it for a while until you sort these things out. Now, you know, if some big event takes place at the office, you know, or at church, or, you know, You may not be able to get back to it right away, but what I try and consciously do is come back to it at some point, later in the evening or in my bedtime prayers, perhaps in the morning as I'm getting a little bit of time alone with God, come back to it and ask him, Lord, what was that about? Stay with it. Stay with it as things happen during the week and they affect you or they shape you as change comes into your life. Invite Christ into it and ask his help sorting these things out. Most people do not make any attempt to interpret the events of their lives or interpret their internal reactions to them. But this is where the Christian life is lived out. It's in the moment. We invite Christ in and we make a conscious effort to walk with God as these events unfold.